I'm going to tell the MC that the dancing dolls are dressed and ready to hit the floor. And who do I run into in the hallway yakking his mouth about me? Of course, Quincy. Hey, that bitch scared. Straight up scared. I'm a bitch. You had no reason to even call me no bitch anyway. You had no reason to call me a bitch. No reason at all. Quincy called me a bitch. And you call me a bitch as if you're upset about something. And with Quincy, me and Quincy got a long history of things that he done had to say about me. And Quincy know what I'm talking about. He's done so many things to me that at this point, him saying anything is going to set me off. She mad because that bitch scared. She's scared as hell right now. What? Because you know Tiger going to eat that ass up. What are you talking about? All season long, I have allowed coaches to say things. I have let it ride. I've had people with their hands in my face. I have had enough. I'm not gonna be nobody's bitch. I ain't gonna be nobody's punk. I ain't no punk ass bitch. Everywhere I go, somebody in my face talking Go get information and stand on the floor. You okay? Good, go. Y'all gotta have it. I didn't ask for it. As I'm watching the Coach D, I'm thinking, not right now. Not right now. We've worked so hard. This been built up and it's been coming. Long time coming. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. At this time, we call the dancing dolls to the floor for the finals of our stand battle. Dancing dolls. I'm not hurt. I'm not scared. I'm pissed. We coming. Third and final call for the dancing dolls. Diana, what are you doing? At this time, the dolls are disqualified from the standby. Disqualified? We have never been disqualified ever in the history of Dancing Dolls. Miss Donna got so worked up that she didn't even hear the announcer calling the Dancing Dolls. She is the Ooh. I'm being told that the MC called our name three times for us to come to the floor. How the hell can I hear that when we're up three flights of stairs? We were on the third floor. I went, I definitely went back out of any competition or anybody ever. That ain't in my character, period. You you have so much pent up aggression and frustration. It's like the rope is constantly being pulled and all of a sudden it just snaps. I literally lost my damn mind. Now time for our award ceremony of today's Summer Dance Slam. In our stand battle category, our victor from Memphis, Tennessee, the Prancing Tigeress. Congratulations, Quincy, on your default win. There you go. Feel good? Kayla, if they do it, you better do it, too. The last time we battled the Divas of Olive Branch, they had a really, really nasty stand with their legs wide open. We call it the Tick Tick Stand. I didn't care for it at all. But it's fine because we have a stand that's gonna get back at them and make fun of the fact that they have their legs wide open. And those are things that just ladies just don't do. Please do tick tick. Please do it so I can throw sticky demon. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And finally, I see her reach out with her leg. I'm like, I just start busting out laughing. I look back, everybody laughing. I got everybody cracking up. Cause we already know we got sticky demon for you. <laughs> tick. Opening their legs and stuff. I was like, ooh. We're the stars tonight. Taking it up so high. You'll feel it when we strike it. We're fire coming through. Can't hold us back no matter. The Stinky Diva stand, it, it really walks a fine line as to what I allow my girls to do. But since Divas of Olive Branch crossed that line, we're going to teeter totter on that line and make fun of them in the process. We're so high. Now you're 
being disrespectful because you turned your back. I have a problem with that. You gonna watch your spin. Turn back around. Since there are no rules and you want to turn your back, then hey, I'm gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna get out here on the floor and I'm gonna dance with my girls then. at a battle, but I love my girls, and I wanted to support them while they're on the floor. I thought it was a great comeback. Give me down a pissed off good enough. You gonna see her throw some blows. She can really dance. Even though you're gonna turn your back on us, I'm gonna make sure that the dancing dolls keep it classy and keep it sassy. This was the knockout blow. The Divas of Olive Branch had absolutely no response. They know that we took them completely down. It's a game changer, game over. Come on! Come on for the Divas! Shout for the Divas! Shout! Shout! Next thing I know, one of the audience members gets mad and she comes running past the girls screaming like a banshee shaking her pom-pom. The reason I was upset because some girl hit me with the pom-pom. So I'm like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It scared me a little. If I become a captain, I don't know if I could handle that much pressure. She flicked that pom-pom in my face. Who put the pom-pom in your face? Okay. Well, point her out to me and let her put the pom-pom in my face. Calm down. Let her put Calm you down. better put that one. I'm like, oh, beast mode. <laughs> a whole nother Mimi came out. That's my child that's crying over there. That's mine right there. That's mine right there. Mimi does not play about Cameron. She put the pom pom in her face. I'm talking about, ooh, that ambulance better hurry up and get here, because I don't think she gonna make it. Kind of trouble. Don't mess with that one. That's mine. Believe that. I didn't mean for none of that, OK? And I'm sorry. That's not what we about, and I don't know who started that. So I just want to keep it real with y'all. Hold that I saw it. I saw it. It escalated, and it got way out of hand. So I'm just going to walk away. Now let's go, all the dancing dogs. Everybody with the dancing dogs, let's go. I'm trying to teach the girls to not only be great dancers, but to be great women. Uh, damn. This is going to be perfect. It's going to be laid out exactly right. Yeah. Because we're going to bring just enough, and then y'all going to bring way too much. Coach McCoy literally runs enough. me down and have a conversation. And I really understand why he's coming at me the way he's coming at me. So all this talk, I don't do all that. Okay. We're going to leave it up to the we'll, girls. We'll see. But see, when you see our secret weapon and hear our secret weapon, we're going to see how loud you be talking. We're today. prepared for y'all. We're good. And we're professional. We're, we're not going to beg now. Doing the argument when me and Diana's going toe to toe, all I can see is her teeth. Her it's not fun down. if you back down. We're going to bring it to you. The challenge is interesting. It's always yeah. supposed to be well, fun. We're going to see on the field. Yeah, we will. You do your thing, and I'll do mine. You don't worry about me, because I ain't worried about you. So don't come for me. Stay over there. Oh, okay. carry on. Carry on. Yeah, walk into the game. Y'all be ready. Carry on. So I'm looking at the dolls in LCDC. This is a really good battle, I must say. But then I noticed their coach is going back and forth. Looking at him, he's pissed off at something. continues, I'm counting, and I realize LCDC stands are longer 
than the rules allow. In the rules for the competition, certain stands are not allowed to be more than 28 counts long. If that rule is broken, you could be disqualified from the competition. The rules state that the stands are supposed to be between 18 to 28 counts. Their stands were well over 28 counts, so they don't get the point for it. What's wrong? Counting the eight counts. Yeah, they were over 20. I know, one of y'all's were over 20, too. Oh, no, they're not. I counted them out. I counted each I one of them out before, hours before, before they hit, before my girls hit the And they field, also started while count. they were still, it, it was a clean, it was part 20, of a clean. So it don't matter, it's it over was 20. Bringing up the excuse about too many counts, it's just a big excuse because Diana knew that LCDC were whooping the dancing dolls. She had to find some type of an excuse. She had to find some type of rule, but obviously your counts were off. They whooped you, though. They whooped y'all. If y'all had to cut y'all stands down like they should have, stand like down said, like they should have. They whooped like y'all. That's why you only count. That's why you count first. Count mine. Sounds like you said. Hey, what's going on? Because they was doing Get counts what? while I was doing Get counts. What? It seems like Get you what? are you okay Get with during this argument, me and Diana's going toe to toe, and all I can think is, I do not want to go to jail tonight. Hey, what I, I told you earlier, I heard your heart beat. Put your damn hand up in my face, man. Don't put your hand up in my face. Don't put your hand up in my damn face. What you doing? What you gonna touch me? I don't understand why folks feel like you can just do a person like this and it's supposed to be okay. You don't put your hand in my face. I don't give a damn who you are. Don't put your hand in my face. You rude, you disrespectful, and you a fool right now. You a fool right now. I can't mind. Just like they broke out. Make sure I follow the rules. Well, the judge is saying. Have fun. Remember the new stands? You need to start to strategize. Going for the juggler from the, from the get-go. I don't care who it is, get them. The strategy has always been to attack with your battle stands from the beginning. We're going to come out swinging. Because if you don't, and you don't hit them first, and they hit you with something, you lose that point. Hey, we ain't run over nothing. Blitz, Star Master. Elmo Carl was over and over yeah, and over and over and over, 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 over. We made a new stands, perfected them. Looking at us, we even got better since the lock-in. And so now I feel like it was worth it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got them. Mm -hmm. Let's go. They've already called us DDD. This is the battle that everybody's been waiting for, and I know it's the battle that DDD's been waiting for. I think the girls are extremely prepared for this damn battle. They're excited, they're crunk, they can't wait to get out there on the floor and just dance. I love my team, because I know they, they gonna come locked and loaded. And we still feel on their floor. We gonna play. For the OG, slow mo like the face pump codeine. Yeah, use the hand to hand the dope fiends. Going at 60 seconds, watching belly, full screens. Peeled off, getting high on the freeway. Left the spot, they had my songs on replay. Every night I get high with the DJ to make one stop, two, two, three way. To me, I hate when the squad uses props. And I see stuff coming from every damn where. I'm like, what the hell? It lost me. I think the coach focused so much on the props that he forgot about the dancing. Somebody got to wow the crowd, give, them, give them people their money's worth. DDD, they, they not going to be ready. Girls throw the stand, and the crowd goes crazy. Everybody loves the stand because it's different. These girls are stomping their feet, they're stepping, they're bucking, they're swinging their hair, they're giving facial expressions. Brianna's got a tongue hanging out her mouth. The girls are moving and transitioning all over the floor. And it's so hype. There's nobody in the building right now that's not crunk for the dancing dogs. And we're feeling right. Couple of shots of Patron and we go. We don't know the night. Yeah. 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 I'm excited because I know the Dancing Dolls have won this hands down in enemy territory. It doesn't matter what stand we throw next. We got you. Go, Kayla! In my mind, we came to win, and that's what we're going to do today. Then next minute I know, this man is going crazy. I took off through the chairs, trying to get over there, because I didn't know what was going on. 
I'm sick of going to competitions in Memphis where people don't know how to behave themselves and don't let the kids do what it is that they're doing. <laughs> trying to fix it because it's about the girls. And since nobody can calm down, Jamar ends the competition. Competition over. Everybody leave. Everybody, the competition is over. I was disappointed because I actually wanted to get done with this battle. And now we got to wait until the next competition. If there is going to be a next competition, will we see DD in battle again? Damn. Damn. The truck. The prop truck on fire. The prop truck on fire. For real, like for real. What? What? This way. You don't have, you don't have your phone, do you? I left my phone. Uh -uh. I start running with Mimi. I can smell it in the air that something's burning. What happened? Oh, what stuff was in there? Everything. We are minutes away from having to go onto the stage for our Willy Wonk creative. What about all your draping and stuff? Most of the props are either scorched or soaking wet. The setback is disastrous, and right now, I, I have no idea how the hell we're gonna recover. You are freaking kidding me. All the work that the girls have been putting into this, and now look, it's all up in smoke. So, the truck that carries the props and stuff here that we use, like the candy wall and all that, caught on fire. Like, the, the show face, the entire truck, the inside of it, all of the, the candy boards with all the candy on it, it's like black smoke and stuff all over it. The candy boards were able to be salvaged, but they are covered in black smut. The poles were burned. Like, there's a lot going on right now, and all I can think about is don't tell the girls, don't tell the girls, don't tell the girls, because everybody's going to freak out. I want to tell the girls that this is my last battle royale, but I'm going to hold my tongue because Ms. D and I don't want to throw them off their game. This fire is enough drama. Plus, these girls got this. Now we're setting up the stage and the candy boards and all the draping, the light show, everything was able to be salvaged. And I may actually be able to put all of my worries to rest because the floor really does look like a candy land. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. The dance falls on fire. So amazed at how well the dancing dolls are performing. So I feel like. I smell a W coming through. Dolls knocked this Wooly Walker creative right out of the park. But looking around at my dolls, I can tell that they're exhausted. If we're lucky enough to make stands, yeah. stamina is going to make or break us. All right, our judges have deliberated, and they have made the decision of our top two teams in today's Battle Royale through our creative dance category. The first team moving on to stand battle is... proud of the girls. But it ain't over yet. We gotta go straight into stand battle and we haven't had time to rest. This is gonna be a dog eat dog standoff. Now I just need for Jesus to put his hands on all these girls, guide them to victory. 